COVID-19 booster shots are coming. Sources tell CBS News the White House will recommend a third dose for people who got the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines eight months after they got. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Their second shot. So Bradley Blackburn is in New York City with what we know so far about the plan. Bradley, good morning. Hey, Laura, it was just last week that the FDA authorized a booster shot for people with compromised immune systems, and now a third dose could be coming for everyone else. Scientists have known for a while that the shots lose their effectiveness over time, and a third dose can provide an antibody boost. I was one of the first people to get vaccinated. Ellie Moxley was one of the first to get a COVID shot, and now she's one of the first getting a third dose. I'm taking my cues from the health professionals that I work with um, to manage my Crohn's disease, and they're telling me to get the booster. I'm going to get the booster. Those boosters are now going into arms for patients like her who are immunocompromised, but soon they could be recommended for everyone. CBS News has learned the Biden administration is finalizing a booster plan for the vast majority of Americans. Anyone who received the Pfizer or Moderna shot will likely be advised to get a third dose of the same vaccine eight months after being fully vaccinated. And they could start in September after the vaccines are fully approved by the FDA. Throughout several areas of the country, COVID cases are overwhelming hospitals. In Austin, Texas, ambulances are waiting up to an hour for open beds. Our medics are being overworked like crazy. All this as more students are returning to classrooms. In Los Angeles, long lines of high schoolers yesterday waited for the COVID check-in process. These are schools opening last week in Hillsborough County, Florida. This week, officials there say more than 5,000 students in the county have either tested positive for COVID-19 or are currently in quarantine for a possible exposure. And just like the first round of shots, boosters would likely go to the elderly and other vulnerable populations first, Laura. And officials have been preparing for this. There is enough supply to give shots to people who need them once it's approved. And Bradley, as we said, health officials are going to recommend booster shots for people who got the two dose Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. But what about those who got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine? Well, right now it is not mentioned in this plan, but it's not because they are not considering it. The scientists tell us that they are looking at the data, they're studying this, and the jury's still out on when an additional dose will be necessary, but officials tell CBS News that they do expect people who got J&J &J will need a booster at some point in time. And will people be able to mix vaccines from different manufacturers, or if they got a certain one, do they have to stick with that one? That's another thing that they're still studying, but currently the plan calls for people to get the same shot that they got initially. So if you got Moderna for your first two doses, you'll need to get Moderna for a booster shot. But Laura, these are still early planning stages on this, so we'll have to see if things change over time. All right, Bradley, thank you. Thank you.